I have 1,300 shares of AMC stock right now at an average price that some may consider high, but what I consider extremely cheap. And again, guys, just to reiterate what I said and just to emphasize what I said, I have 1,300 shares of AMC stock. And at what average, you guys might ask, the average price would be around the $55 range. And so in my previous videos, I was talking all about $51 a share. And in fact, you guys can see right here that from my previous video, we even drew a support line at $51 a share. But why did I not just be patient and load up the boat at $51 a share? Well, to answer your guys' question, it is very simple and it's very easy. It is the fact that I am not done increasing my position. And so a lot of you guys may call me crazy, right? Because having 1,300 shares or 1,300 shares at around the $55 level is insane. However, the AMC stock movement is not over. I am holding for the AMC stock movement and a lot of people are holding for the AMC stock movement. And so a lot of people are saying that all these price targets of $400 a share, $500 a share, $300 a share that I'm talking about is clickbait. However, those titles and those price targets are not clickbait at all because if they were, I would not be adding over a thousand shares of AMC stock. And the reason why I even think that these numbers will be reachable is just because of my own evaluations of the stock and everyone has their own opinion guys and so this is just to drive the movement even higher and right now a lot of people are saying that with my $500 price targets with my $400 price targets and with my $300 price targets for AMC stock those are clickbait however those are not clickbait at all and the reason why is because the reason why I even lower the numbers the price targets in the first place is simply because a lot of people are saying that AMC is never going to go to 500 and so the people that are saying that AMC cannot go above $100 a share were the same people that were saying that GameStop could never go above $100 a share. That is when a lot of people started adding to GameStop, but then they ended up losing money on GameStop because that's when they started ending up buying GameStop at $500 a share. But guess what, guys? $500 a share was just too high for the stock and it ended up going down. Now, why am I talking about GameStop? That is because a lot of people, as I said, are saying that AMC will never go to $500 a share. It will never go to $400 or even $300 a share. And so my price target still remains very high to that $500 range. And some may even say $1,000. Everyone has their own opinions, but I am just saying that in my opinion, AMC stock has a high probability of going above $100 a share. And right now I'm down about $1,000 on my AMC position. And I really cannot care less about this position. And this has nothing to do with the fact of valuing money. This has everything to do with the stock and this is AMC stock guys. This is the whole point of the movement for all the AMC stock groups. If you guys are invested in this stock, we all have our own reasons as to why we are invested. But again, for me, it has always been the opportunity. The opportunity in this stock is just too great to miss out on. And in my opinion, this stock will go even higher in the next few days. A lot of people are saying that I am changing the price targets of AMC stock, but I am not because I'm constantly talking about the same price target, which remains the $51 range to the $61 range. That is my near-term price target. As long as you stay between those two ranges, everything will be fine. And have we broken that $51 level yet? Not at all. And in my previous video, I said that, in fact, AMC was probably going to go to $51 a share and that would be the best case scenario for AMC stock and it was not just me who thought AMC going to $51 a share would be the best case scenario for AMC stock before it ended up going and rebounding even higher to the upside. It was actually the author of an IBD article and this is just an amazing company because it gives you the metrics for any stock not just AMC but you can compare it to Roku and what I really like is their group leadership because AMC is ranked 8th in their group and we are comparing AMC to Roku guys. Roku is in the $300 price target range or actually I think it might even be at $400 a share now because Apple decided to acquire one of their remotes. I do not know a lot about Roku however that is not the point of the video and then AMC also has a 71 rating from IBD and this just goes more into the fundamental metrics of AMC stock which we don't really care about right now just because the stock has gone exponentially high so it really does not matter and also I want to talk about the short interest because what is happening now, guys, is market manipulation. A lot of people will say that I am crazy for having 1,300 shares of AMC stock. However, what is going to be happening in the next few days will be monumental just because of the manipulation that is happening with the stock. Because AMC has a float of almost 500 million. And what we are seeing right now is their short interest is increasing. However, 
while their short interest is increasing, their borrow fees are getting lower. And what do I mean by borrow fees? Borrow fees are simply the fees that anyone can have, whether it is a hedge fund or a retail trader. And every time you decide to short a position of a stock, or that is called the borrowing position of a stock, you have to pay a fee. However, what we are seeing now is the short interest is increasing. So a lot of people want to short the stock. But then why is the fee to be allowed to short that stock getting lower and lower? That right there is what a lot of people are saying is part of the market manipulation. The fact that we are seeing the price of AMC stock drop so much in one day, which in all honesty, I was expecting a move to the $51 range at some point for AMC stock, which again, $51 a share would be the best case for AMC stock simply because a lot of people know that that is the major support level. And that is besides the point though, because I already mentioned this a lot. And I'm also going to be talking about the author of the IBD article in just a few seconds. But Again, guys, the market manipulation that the hedge funds are trying to do to this stock, what usually ends up happening is when you have the short interest increasing for a stock, that is when the demand is extremely high. And so when there is high demand for a stock, usually the price increase, right? Because there is not enough supply and a lot of people are trying to take the shares. A lot of people are, end up buying the shares. But in this case, the fees are getting lower and the fees getting lower enables more people to short the stock at an even cheaper price. This makes no sense at all. And as I said before, a lot of people are saying that this is just market manipulation. And we do have an author stating that is AMC stock a buy or sell right now? Here's what fundamentals, stock chart action, mutual fund ownership metrics say. And again, guys, fundamentals, I'm already guessing will probably be the worst thing that this article mentions just because the fundamentals do not make sense with the price that AMC is at right now. But everyone already knows this. This is not new news in any means. And so going off to what this author states, he says that shares have been cooling off, but it's still finished the second quarter up an astounding 455%. If you guys check their quarter over quarter growth for the stock, the newest quarter was actually the best quarter this year. And you guys can see the financials of the stock. So 455%, that right there is an impressive beat. And so in my last video, a lot of people were hating just because I said that AMC, the best case would be for AMC to go to $51 a share or somewhere near $51 a share. And a lot of people were saying that that would actually cause more fear and more panic for AMC investors. However, this author states that on Tuesday, AMC closed beneath the short-term 10-day symbol moving average for only the third time since mid-May. And then he says, which is really important, guys, this is actually a bullish sign. A few quiet sessions in inside days or inside weeks would actually serve the stock well. AMC is still above its 21-day exponential moving average. And on June 16th, AMC stock fell 6%, a statement by the Federal Reserve on interest rates. This was on June 16th, guys. So now we are in July. And so it rebounded bullishly and closed with a terrific 20% boost higher for the week. Even though there are some catalysts for AMC stock, not just for AMC stock though, even though there are market catalysts like inflation and interest rates, which also in my channel I was talking about too. So if you guys have not subscribed yet, yes, I may say some price targets for AMC and they may not always be right. But so far, guys, we have been right most of the time. And so right now on my AMC position, this is actually one of the first days that I end up closing off red for AMC stock. And that is not because my predictions and my expectations for the stock were wrong, because I was actually saying that AMC would probably be at the most optimal price at $51 a share to $52 a share, which it ended up going to around $52 a share today. I simply bought AMC stock and 1,300 shares of it today because it was just too much of an opportunity that I could not miss. I saw it go to $54 a share. I saw it go to 55. And a few days ago, I just saw it go to 61. And so I decided that in my opinion, it would be best for me to start a position in AMC stock. And then later on, I can start to add more shares to my position, which is exactly what I plan to do in the future. And if we ever get to that 51 to 52 level, I'll probably add another 700 shares just because I do not think the stock is going to fall below $51 a share, which is exactly what I said in my previous video. And you guys may disagree about my personal price predictions and my price expectations for AMC stock. But again, a lot of people were extremely optimistic about this stock when it hit $61 a share. And I was just trying to say that a pullback was probably going to be expected. And this was not because of the AMC stock retail traders. This is because right now, guys, the hedge funds have a lot of power. What I was talking about before with the borrow fees, how they are lower. However, the short interest is increasing. That is market manipulation. And right now, it is just going to take time before this market manipulation will go away. And before the retail traders can have even more power and more volume and more momentum so that 
the volume of the retail traders will exceed the volume of the hedge funds. I hope a lot of that made sense, guys. And I know a lot of you guys have still been able to be very profitable for AMC stock. A lot of you guys were also saying that because of my projections and because of my expectations, you guys were able to get AMC stock at a great price today. $52 a share. I saw a lot of you guys talking about how you guys are already up on AMC stock because you guys bought the dip at around that $52 level. And now it is already at around $53 a share. And that was my initial plan. But again, guys, it just depends on the opportunity that you guys see for yourself and for AMC stock. And again, when I just saw $54 and $55, even though the initial plan was to get at $51 and $52, I just thought that AMC was too good of an opportunity. That was just my initial position. And I said that if AMC fell below the $54 level, that would add more. And that is what I plan on doing tomorrow if it drops below $54 a share. Thanks again for watching, guys. I still plan on holding AMC stock until it breaks out of the bullish flag that I mentioned in my previous video. So if you guys have not watched my previous video, make sure you guys go ahead and watch that. And with that being said, guys, all my price targets, $400, $500, even a thousand these are all very realistic price targets in my opinion and we could all disagree but with that being said guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video